Friday, the 10th day of June, 2011. We're going to have reporters Mark Anderson, American Free Press, Jim Tucker, American Free Press, Charlie Skelton, the London Guardian, Bob Chapman with Financial News, and Aaron Dykes and Paul Watson of Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com as we uh, track and cover and uh, ferret out the internal agenda of the global elite meeting in secret in Switzerland. This has been the biggest year ever uh, in the 35 years that the Bilderberg Group uh, has been exposed. They've been meeting, of course, for decades before that. Their own corporate minutes have been ferreted out. Uh, since then, they've even released some of them to the BBC a decade ago admitting they want to set up world government. But U.S. media until just a few years ago was still saying it did not exist and that you are insane if you talk about it. That's why I get countless emails of people talking about their family members. If they talk about it at dinner, visiting their parents or their children or their neighbors, they are laughed at because the average uh, mind-numb person out there thinks they're on the winning team if they laugh at people that have more knowledge than them. We now have the full 2011 official attendee list. It is bombshell. We'll be breaking it down. It's up at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Drudge is also linked to it, DrudgeReport.com. Uh, also, Paul Joseph Watson, uh, there's a video on the site, breaks down uh, the official Bilderberg 2011 uh, attendee list. Uh, Bilderberg behind Rick Perry 2012 run. Uh, that report is up on the site also with the news that Newt Gingrich's uh, staff is quitting and going to the uh, globalist Perry because uh, Gingrich is falling out of favor with the uh, ruling class because he's losing so much traction. We've got a lot of key economic and military news today coming up. China's rating house says U.S. is already defaulting, as I've told you for years. We're going to explain what that means to everyone. Hyperinflation and the death of the dollar. It's all coming up today, but I take you now to Paul Watson uh, in St. Moritz, Switzerland, the site of Bilderberg 2011 with a lot of big developments. He's also with We Are Change uh, out of Switzerland, and we are Change founder Luke Radowski, also RT reporter and Infowars.com uh, roving reporter with some big breaking news on the staged bomb threat that even The Guardian is reporting it was staged. We, of course, first broke that news here yesterday because our team is, is working so hard and doing such a great job. Uh, we go now to Paul Joseph Watson with a report on the latest developments. Then he'll hand the phone off to Luke Radowski of We Are Change. Uh, Paul, break down the latest developments. Hi, Alex. Um, yeah, we're at an event that's just up the hill from the Bilderberg Hotel. Um, about an hour ago, we actually uh, went in the field that's just above the hotel, um, just outside the police line, and we were able to film live footage, which was streamed on uh, Justin TV, of the helicopter picking up one of the Bilderberg members. We believe it to be a woman, um, and it flew off over the mountain, so we got some pretty good live footage. And then afterwards, we were interviewing um, Dominique of We Are Change Switzerland, and uh, he was telling us about a big breaking story involving the uh, Swiss politician uh, Dominique Beitig, who before the conference had called for Henry Kissinger to be arrested as a war criminal. Um, and I'm going to hand you over to Dominique so he can explain the letter that has now been presented to the Swiss. Okay, and tell us who Dominique is show. again. Tell us who Dominique is before you give him the phone. Domin Dominique is from We Are Change Switzerland. Okay, Dominique, uh, good to speak with you, sir. Uh, uh, give us yeah. this r uh, report. Okay, um, yesterday um, we went to the Soretta Hotel, the Bilderberg Hotel, where they meet, and we brought a letter from the Swiss legislature, Dominique Batsik, who, who was stated that um, the different journalists were intimidated by the police. Um, they uh, were followed by cars with the German numbers in Switzerland and uh, black black windows and things like that. So Patrick wrote an official letter that we handed out to the chief of the region, Barbara Janom Steiner, to get sure that the, the journalists can do their work and that the coverage is done about the Bilderbergs because he knows what the, what the agenda is from the Bilderbergers and he doesn't want them to meet in Switzerland. They should go away, he said. And tonight he will come to confront the, the um, event managers about the, the case that Henry Kissinger is coming to Switzerland.
This is um, big news, sir. And, and uh, again, uh, you've already had a member of, of the equivalent of your Congress come out earlier in the week and call for uh, the uh, arrest of Kissinger. Is this the same? Yeah. Uh, now, explain your it's government system. Explain your government system and, and exactly who he is and his name again and uh, uh, who's talked to him. It sounds like you've talked to him. You have the official letter. Yeah. He's already in the papers saying he wants Kissinger arrested. And you're saying he is coming today uh, to confront yeah. the police. It's, it's not the only one. There are two other legislators coming up there in the Hotel Randolines, where we stay, at an event that they talk about the Bilderberg meetings and their agenda. And so uh, we have in Switzerland a subsidiary, subsidiary system. So the people, the local people, can do uh, politics, and then it's go up and up to the to the uh, to the federal system. So it's not a centralized system where in the central uh, laws are being being. Uh, yeah. It's, it's like yes, sir. For those that don't know, the United States, more than the Greeks and Romans, as we were told by modern historians, the United States, if you read the Founding Fathers, was actually founded off a Dutch model that was then exported uh, to Switzerland. Switzerland already had a similar model where you actually yeah. have your, your states, uh, of course, under another name, uh, you have your, what, cantons, correct? Yeah, yeah. This, this yeah, is called yes. Canton. Yes, you have and, your uh, you have your states for those that don't know, and they are the supreme power. They then vote and completely order the vassal federal body around. As our republic was established, we now have it completely backwards uh, here in the United States, and that's why we're in so much trouble. And so, yeah. uh, some of the leaders of the states, hence leaders of the federal government because the states run your federal government, are coming. You're seeing three of them. We do have the mainstream Swiss papers from two days ago where he was saying he wants them arrested. Your prime minister has said they shouldn't be yeah. meeting there as well. So what you're saying is confirmed there. But this is big, breaking news. This is the first time I've ever heard of this, that the leaders yeah. of a government are going to be going and uh, confronting the criminals that are meeting there. Any other details you can give us, sir? Yeah, the, the, the uh, other thing is... But Betsik, the national le legislature, said that if something's going to happen, uh, if blood is on the streets, the whole responsibility has to be taken by the chief of the region, who is also attending at the Bilderberg uh, meeting. Yes, they normally have the local security chief just there inside as a minion, and they bring him some food and things, but he's not in on the meetings themselves. Yeah. Again, uh, give us the specific name of the, of the ministers. Can you give us the name of the other two ministers, and can you read to us the letter, sir? Do you have that letter in front of you? No, I haven't the letter in front of me, but it's, it states that um, stop all the um, scaring of the journalists and let them uh, get the work out and do the big coverage of the Bilderberg meeting because in a uh, country like Switzerland, if we have the direct democracy, the people should be informed about this meeting and that we have an article, article 266, that uh, uh, states that our politicians cannot meet in secret with other uh, politicians from other states, other countries, foreign countries. Yeah, it's called treason. So, uh, we have the Logan Act yeah, as well. Yeah, treason. It's, 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 it's like the Logan Act, yeah. Yeah. And so it's, it's, it's an illegal thing. And he repeated this, that he don't want to be a, a part of this, this, this system where the Bilderberg can get a platform in this country. So... Uh, well, amazing, right. sir. Now, now to be specific, uh, you're with We Are Change. Luke Radowski is there as well. Uh, Paul Watson is with you. But you've seen the letter. I mean, how do you know the letter? Uh, have you seen the letter? Yes, yes. I wrote a letter to the legislator. In Switzerland, you can reach your legislators, wrote them letters. And if you know them, if you're going outside to meet them, talk with them, they are they're trying to help you. Uh, there's a few politicians who have the balls to help you. Well, sir, and you're amazing. You're amazing. Give us your full name because you, you deserve great credit doing the right thing and going to your representatives, your servants, uh, your, your legates, so the people that serve you. Uh, your representative and uh, getting them to do the right thing. This is going to be very, very historical. And obviously, uh, we've got to have our team there covering it. And we'll have our team there covering it. And more on that live in the third hour, uh, literally with their cell phones, as this happens at the gates of Bilderberg. Uh, but specifically, give us your full name, sir. Um, I, I just want to mention that we are a lot of people here. And this is the work of everybody here. 
No, I know, sir, but you wrote the letters. Give us, give us your name for the record. Um, my name is Dominic Schreiber, and everyone has the same uh, ability to write a letter to the national councillor to get this thing right. Okay, again, can you give us the other names of the other councillors that are coming? The councillors of Switzerland? Yes, you say three of them are, are coming. Uh, three of them are coming. It's, uh, it's uh, called Lucas Raimon, is the one who is speaking about the Bilderbergers at the event in the Hotel Randolins, and the other one is Pirmin Schwander. And the third, Dominic Betzig, will go directly to the hotel to bring, to, to hand them out another letter about Kissinger. And I wonder if the police are going to try to keep their boss from delivering this letter. Um, I think the Swiss police uh, are very patriotic, some of them even are, and they didn't know what they are, uh, what they are uh, um, protecting. We, we, we have to inform them about the attendees and about the whole Bilderberg meeting who was, uh, uh, who was, uh, was built up by a Nazi uh, Prince Bernhard. And they're really shocked about this thing. And so maybe we have uh, little helpers inside of the Toretta Hotel. Sir, you are absolutely incredible. The Swiss are incredible. They're the first country to do this. The first country yeah. for their... The, the, stay there, all of you. This is bombshell, off the charts, breaking news. The leaders of Switzerland going to confront the criminals at Bilderberg 2011. I am getting chills right now. And there we are confronting them, drawing attention, and now a high-level Swiss politician, open letters signed by two others. My guys have seen the letters. They're going to get copies of it. We're going to get it up on the continually updated news feed at Infowars.com, actually confronting the real illegitimate criminal government, the hijackers of our society. Paul Watson, I'm, I'm going to let you go soon here so you can get all this together, get it to Kurt and Emmo to get a report out because I know you're on the ground. And if that report isn't out in 30 minutes, you guys got to break up. One of them stay there and, 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 and get back and write the report. This has got to happen now. This is huge breaking news with the big demonstration at high noon. I know there's a lot more people there uh, today, but we're less than 24 hours. We're like 18 hours or something now out from the big demonstration at high noon uh, tomorrow there in St. Moritz. Watson, any other points to add? I mean, that was bombshell information that we just uh, received right there. Yeah, um, we're gonna we're gonna have to stay up here and film it, and I guess um, Kurt is gonna write the article. Is that what's happening? Yeah, and, we, and we've got to, with the Swiss, get a hold of that office and make sure exactly when he's arriving, we've got to get that on tape and march with him up there. Yeah. Because if he doesn't have people backing him, uh, he, uh, the, who knows what they'll do to him. Uh, and again, this is the equivalent yeah. of Ron Paul marching, uh, Swiss Ron Paul, literally marching up to Bilderberg. This, this is sensational. It is sensational, the amount of attention this is going to draw to the real shadow enemies. Once we identify these vampires in the light of high noon, today and tomorrow, this is another devastating blow as we show people that there are little men behind the curtain. They're not the great Oz. They're not invincible. Watson, anything else? Yeah, we got Luke Radowski to speak about the letter here. Uh, Luke, Luke, you've seen the letter. Do you have a copy? We've got to get a copy of this photoed and Twittered out right now to add to this. Uh, Luke, you've seen the letter? Yes, I've seen the letter. I actually walked up to the police officers here right at the front entrance of the main hotel, and I gave it to them. As soon as I walked up to them, they already were pushing me out. They already were, like, telling me to get out of there. And I was like, wait a minute, buddy. Wait a minute, buddy. You're going to read this letter right now. Thank God it's in uh, Swiss German so they could understand it. They, they, they may not understand me, but they sure did understand that letter. And they actually allowed us to stand where, the, where we were actually kicked out and harassed many times. I mean, it's pretty intense here. I mean, we're followed by cop cars everywhere we go here. I got threatened with arrest and deportation yesterday just for filming this event here. So what We Are Changed Switzerland in is very brilliant. Uh, this representative, this chancellor that wrote this letter is really a hero. And we handed out this letter to all the police officers here, and they're being a lot nicer to us. They're letting us come. And we can now stand meters away from the hotel and document who's coming in and who's coming out. And it definitely changed a lot of things here at this Bilderberg conference. Okay, Luke, so you delivered the letter. 
Uh, this is unbelievable. We're going to get this out. Get us a copy of it. We're going to scan it in or photo. We're going to get it out right now. No doubt. Drudge is going to link to this. I, I know we've shot some videos of you breaking this down. They're now up on our Justin TV channel at Infowars.com in the breaking Bilderberg news area. But shoot some more to break down the full developments here because we're getting this out live time. Yeah, this is yeah, Alex, this is also very important. This same chancellor has notified all the prosecutors in Switzerland that they have to arrest Henry Kissinger for war crimes. And now they're looking for pictures and documents that Henry Kissinger is here. This guy, this chancellor, is actually an amazing guy. He did the same thing when George Bush was supposed to speak here in Geneva, Switzerland. He wrote a similar letter. He notified the prosecutors like he is doing right now. And, and Bush canceled. Bush, Bush canceled. Yeah, Bush canceled that event because of this chancellor and his letter and the, and the prosecutors who were going after him. They did the same thing right now in 2011 at this Bilderberg meeting with Henry Kissinger. So we were looking for photos, for videos, and uh, this is just an amazing development. Uh, this guy's an awesome guy. He's going to come here later on at this event, and uh, we're definitely going to interview him and speak to him, and, and uh, it's just amazing developments that are happening Well, right Bilderberg now. under siege. Uh, the guys are going to be live on air coming up in an hour and a half. I want you to be with them, Luke, as well with reportage. Uh, Luke Radowski, the founder of We Are Change, RT reporter. You are incredible. Stay there, Luke. I want to talk to you during this break. I am, I am so excited. I'm about to explode. Ladies and gentlemen, this is history that we're seeing. This is incredible. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide. It's Alex Jones. I absolutely salute the Swiss right now. I drink this delicious hot coffee to all the We Are Change patriots, to my great reporters that are in Switzerland, the Info Warriors, Paul Watson, Aaron Dykes. I salute Jim Tucker, Mark Anderson. I salute my team uh, here, all the great crew, all the great writers. What is happening is historical to say the least. If you just joined us, three Swiss ministers have signed a letter. It has been delivered to the Bilderberg Group. The police have now backed off harassing media and one of their highest level members of their slash Congress, it's called their Canton, it's the Council of the States, is going to go to Bilderberg and demand to be let in and is going to confront and try to have Henry Kissinger arrested. This is off the charts delicious. I know we can beat the globalist. I know that who has the fight wins. Who is in the right wins when they fight. Resistance is victory. My children's future, your children's future, free humanity, the spirit of 1776, everything we are is about standing up and marching on Bilderberg today and tomorrow. This is off the chart exciting, and I take you now, I believe we've gotten him online, to Mark Anderson. Uh, he is um, one of the chief reporters, I believe he's even the editor, uh, over there at American Free Press. And he uh, writes on news across the nation, AmericanFreePress.net, the colleague of Jim Tucker. And uh, Mr. Anderson, it's good to have you there. Are you as energized and excited as I am about these bombshell developments? Absolutely. And, you know, it's kind of a mixture of activists and Sherlock Holmes. You know, the, the Bilderbergers are an intrigue kind of group. And you, you have to be a kind of a sleuth and an activist at the same time. But I'm very excited. What do you make of the fact that this letter's been delivered, the cops have suddenly begun to really behave themselves and, and are having the reporters get closer because, uh, you know, there it's direct democracy and, and their, their boss has told them, uh, you're protecting criminals. Uh, we're told the police are really starting to wake up and now this member of the government, this member, uh, Cantonian leader, is, is going to be arriving soon to try to get into Bilderberg. This is Bilderberg under siege, Mark. Uh, absolutely. I think we're talking about Dominique Baytig, the national council member of the Swiss People's Party. Yes. Yeah, Dominique, as you probably know, had written letters to Simonetta Samaruga, the federal uh, civil law enforcement officer who's a member of the federal council, and then uh, Mrs. Barbara Genome Steiner, and she's the cantonal cop, uh, top, top officer. And not only did they not initially respond to Baytig, but Genome Steiner, she actually is attending Bilderberg. So initially there was a slap in the face to Dominique Baytig 
in his initial letters pleading to these top law enforcement officers not to even allow Bilderberg to meet here in the first place. So they, they, they snubbed uh, Dominic Baytig, this um, traditionalist-minded legislator. But uh, what we're hearing now, which is what you're talking about, he's not taking this lying down, and he's going to ignore their, their cold shoulder and, and, and evidently be very proactive about this. So that, that takes a lot of courage. A great deal of courage on Dominique's part. Mark, I know you are um, you know, really uh, second only to somebody like Jim Tucker in your deep years of research and following uh, Bilderberg, and you've been to many of these events. Uh, am I right in saying that nothing like this has ever happened and uh, that, that, that this is a major watershed, bellwether, uh, flashpoint event? I believe so in many ways. Uh, Jim, Jim and I were discussing this earlier. First of all, he cannot remember. He goes back like 35 years. He cannot remember ever there being a national legislator of a host country to Bilderberg raising this kind of ruckus in this manner, uh, actually trying to prevent Bilderberg from meeting. And when he couldn't do that, then going to this next step and delivering this, this protest, apparently in, in person in front of Bilderberg. So this is unprecedented. And according to Jim, who just told me this this morning, uh, and he's been covering this for 35 years. Um, uh, and then, then you have the other factors involved. They're, they're taking, this, this meeting's taking place in a country whose traditions run exactly against the grain of Bilderberg. They want centralized control. The Swiss believe in a, kind of a populist, home rule, grassroots style of government. It's just a no fit all the way. They shouldn't be here philosophically, culturally, in, in, for any reason. They don't belong here. They don't belong anywhere, really, but they definitely don't belong here. And I think that's what Baytick sees, that this would tarnish the Swiss system. It would tarnish their reputation. And he probably suspects that, that some of their deliberations might be how to get Switzerland into the European Union so it's not the uh, sticky wicket in, the, in their uh, mad quest for a unified Europe. And notice as soon as they have the second vote and finally force uh, the success story Ireland into the EU, as EU ministers have said, it's a receivership arm. They immediately, by design, through the ministers they controlled, the traders inside Ireland, economically imploded them and handed literally uh, the lion's share of their taxes over to the IMF and World Bank. And that's what they want to do to Switzerland. Uh, and so, you know, the hour is getting late. The, the global crisis is on. The crimes of Bilderberg are known, and people are identifying them as the enemy. And justice be done, may the heavens fall, as, as people like yourself and the protesters continually to, to doggedly expose Bilderberg, being laughed at, being told it doesn't exist, ha, ha, ha. Now we see it all coming to a head as the global Ultra rich, the richest, most powerful royalty and, and banking heads and oil company heads meet. Uh, it's it, more and more. And again, we won't defeat them this day, probably. Those, though, it could be the fall of Bilderberg. I felt it in my gut. Uh, I mean, this is this well, is you, the big. You, yeah, you've got their you've got their octogenarian um, uh, uh, mainstays like Kissinger and Rockefeller, who aren't long before they go to that great bank vault in the sky, or maybe it's the other direction. But, yes, I think that people like that with these egos the size of Mount Iger here in the Switzerland, um, they, they want to see concrete results. They want to see their world order before they go to that, um, uh, the great beyond, you know, in, 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 or what, whatever they think their futures are. I don't think they have any. But I think they're getting impatient. Uh, you know, things are moving more slowly than they anticipated. A lot of people are waking up, hopefully enough people, and... You know, they want to see this consummated before their, their elder members uh, pass on. So they've got to be getting very impatient. Well, and, and, and they're forcing their global tyranny through and their carbon taxes, but it only mounts more resistance. And it takes me back to the Star Wars line that, uh, you know, the tighter you squeeze, the more systems will slip through your fingers. I mean, that is what is beginning to happen. And we've always got moles who refuse to talk to us, waiters and, 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 and others, at the hotels until they're rudely treated like garbage. The memos we've confirmed uh, that Jim has literally snuck out before him and shot at in Portugal to get uh, where you we know, warning shots where they are not allowed to look uh, Hillary Clinton and others in the eyes. People are in the presence of this evil and their human instinct for survival. They instantly come to our side and give us all the data. And the globalists should know it's only going to intensify agents of liberty eternal agents of freedom, 
agents that literally carry the spark of God's love in their hearts for their children and our cultures are everywhere. And the globalists have their legions of, 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 of paid off scum and psychopaths and sociopaths and bullies and control freaks. But it's always free humanity that isn't rallied until things get really bad. And then good people finally come out of their trance, wake up. And, and that's why the evil ones are so scared of good people because they want to intimidate us and make us feel weak because they can literally, at a you know, spiritual, instinctive level, we are like thousand-foot giants to them because we're in the right. And, and the wicked flee when none pursue. And, 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 well, we are pursuing. And that's why they flee and hide Mark Anderson. Yeah, it, you know, I think that for all their great wealth, they're the poorest people on the planet. They, they're culturally and, and in, and in their soul, in their intellects, in their spirit, they're they're poorer than dirt. And I think they know that all they have is money and power, there, which are ephemeral things, things that slip away. I think they sense their own mortality individually and collectively. That there's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. They're not going to get away with this because we're not going to let them. It's just that simple. And, you know, even if they were meeting for the best of reasons and everything was peaches and cream, you're still not supposed to have secret decisions being made. See, that's what people don't understand. Secrecy is never good, even if the best intentions are there. And we know they don't have the best intentions, so it's a double whammy. You know, it's just there's no way they can explain their way out of this. It's undemocratic. It's wrong. Even if they're voting to send money to the poor every week, they need to do it in the open. But... You know, openness to them is, is you know, just anathema. They, they don't even understand what that's about, you know. Uh, it, it's just, uh, it, it, it's, 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 it's almost sad. I mean, they're, they're really, I pity them as much as I loathe them. Well, you're right. Uh, Mark Anderson, looking at the agenda, for folks that just joined us, we're covering uh, Bilderberg 2011, a, a day that will uh, be remembered for a long time. Uh, very yeah. exciting, uh, you know, the equivalent of a, of a Ron Paul of Switzerland, that's what he's known as, uh, you, you, uh, you know, heading up one of the cantons. Uh, and again, their states then combine to make the federal government. It's, it's direct state rule, people rule, what the republic once had through the states uh, until the globalists took over in 1913 and got rid of the 17th Amendment for the states to send in the U.S. senators. He's basically the equivalent of that for folks that don't understand the U.S. Uh, Republic before it was taken over and uh, understand the Swiss system. Uh, but expanding on that, Mark, recapping how big this is, we're going to put, when we can, the letter back on screen uh, that's been delivered by Luke Radowski. And, and later today, in the next few hours, uh, the leader of this canton is going to come there. He's already sent it out to the prosecutors, the police. He's told them, look, you're in violation of law. I'm coming. I'm your boss. Look out. This is a showdown. This is a showdown. This is big. It's major. Uh, it's, it's, you know, heartening to see. Uh, and this is the right country for it to happen in. They don't belong here. As I said, it's, it's retrograde to what they believe. And, you know, they're, they're in the wrong environment, and, and, it, and it provides the right opportunity to present them with the right rebuke, the right uh, defense of, of, of the common man. And it's time for the common man to win a few. You know, they, they've had their day in the sun. It's time for them to pack it in. Any other key points you'd like to add about what you've observed? Editor, uh, I know you work as a, a visiting editor and a lot of other things. In, fa in fact, I, well, what is your title in American Free Press? I know you're a radio talk show host, too, and I've interviewed you many times. Mark, what's your title yeah, over there? I, I'm, I'm editor. Uh, Jim is uh, Jim Tucker's editor, Emeritus. He's semi-retired, but he still covers Bilderberg. And I'm editor, and we're a team now. I'm sort of inheriting the baton from him, more or less. And... Well, I think that what we're talking about today are the, is the key developments, and, and what I talked about earlier where the, the legislator who's uh, rebuking and confronting Bilderberg tried to get the local, uh, local and federal police from stopping uh, Bilderberg from meeting here in the first place. But maybe, maybe it's almost better that didn't happen, because if that didn't happen, or if that would have happened had they not met here, then we, he wouldn't be uh, evidently approaching them and you know, confronting them with this letter. So maybe this is the way God intended it, you know? And um, certainly I think that uh, the specific issues that Bilderberg wants to discuss include whether to continue the wars in Afghanistan and Libya. It, it always includes energy matters, monetary matters. Uh, you know, will the uh, – I'm sure that meeting in Switzerland, they're, they're going to think about uh, Switzerland being this, uh, you know, odd man out and not, not fitting into their global straitjacket. Uh, you know, everything, everything is 
a lot less secret about Bilderberg than it used to be, but it's still hard to discern, of course, unless you're in there, exactly what they're talking about. You know, they do have a quasi-official website where they list a quasi-official set of topics, but, you know, they're, they're very misleading. There's one in there right now on their official website, something like Switzerland. Uh, uh, you know, w will it be successful in the future? You know, you could read that a lot of different ways, you know, real innocuous sounding topics. And so it always sounds dry and, and academic, you know, if you read their own literature. But, of course, there's much more to it, and the secrecy is the enduring problem. So that's essentially what we've got so far. And, and the rest is just a lot of legwork confirming who's there. Okay. And how well, well Mark... Yeah. Mark Anderson, we've got uh, uh, Jim Tucker on the line with us. We're going to let you go, oh, uh, and, and, but uh, stay close to my guys because I, I want to get you to pop in coming up later in the broadcast. But, Mark, thank you so much. We'll continue to watch your work at AmericanFreePress.net. Thank you, sir. Thank you You're pleasure. welcome. Pass the baton to Jim. We'll see you, Alex. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, here is Jim Tucker, the original Bilderberg sleuth. Uh, Jim, good to have you here with us. It's always a pleasure. Jim, how big is this that this top Swiss leader uh, has sent the letter uh, 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 demanding uh, that Kissinger basically be arrested uh, and that the police follow uh, the Swiss Constitution and honor the press and that he is now in the next few hours preparing to make his way there to try to basically force his way into the Bilderberg Group meeting? Well, uh, several people uh, saw uh, such a... Uh, vehicle approach. On the other hand, they, there's several ways they've been. They could have taken the, the ambulance uh, from the airplane to a car park somewhere else and slide in that way. But Kissinger is definitely there. He's yes. Identified. Yeah, he, he's the heart of Bilderberg, along with Rockefeller and Queen Beatrix. What, what do you make of the announcement? That, that this that this leader of a canton, uh, uh, I mean, as high level as it gets, other than the prime minister of, of Switzerland, is, is going to confront them, Jim. Have you heard this news? Uh, uh, yes, our guy has been reported that he plans a confrontation, and uh, it should be a lot of fun, too. I guess they'll have to uh, stand outside the gates until we, they come out, because they'll have it uh, sealed off inside. Uh, and they could throw him in jail if he uh, bucks the line. In fact, they have jailed a couple of people already who tried to walk through against orders, took one guy's passport away. They're, they're playing rough. But in, in Switzerland, though, uh, these uh, canton leaders, I mean, it, 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 that'd be like Speaker of the House or, or yeah. that'd be like Ron Paul, you know, showing up at a Bilderberg Group meeting in Chantilly and demanding to be let in. Yes, it'd be analogous to that, certainly. Well, this is huge. Have you ever seen anything like this in your 35 years of covering uh, the Bilderberg scum? Never, never has so high a state been uh, so publicly uh, challenged Bilderberg. I tell you, this is, they, if, if they were running scared earlier in the week, Jim, uh, you know they've heard of this. Do you think they're uh, doing you-know-what in their, in their underwear? Oh, yes, I'm sure they have bowel problems. The, uh, uh, starting late anyway because the uh, low, low cloud cover keeping the helicopters away. And uh, uh, not only the helicopters get to uh, uh, St. Marie. So they had to do a lot of dr long distance driving, and uh, some planes were able to land at the small airport uh, later. Uh, so they were a full day late getting started. And they all have to uh, duck and run on Monday because their cover meetings, uh, NATO is, is one cover meeting, as you know, and that way the uh, Secretary of Defense can duck into Bilderberg and then go home. But the reason he was over here was NATO and no word mentioned about the Bilderberg meeting, of course.
Jim, in closing, uh, you got much of their internal agenda now. Big news in the U.S. Time Magazine, Newsweek, CNBC, uh, DrudgeReport.com. Congratulations uh, on the great job uh, that they've been picking up our reportage via you. Uh, what what can you tell us? Any other intel from your moles? We, we were told by some of the Swiss folks that, uh, that that have moles that they're getting a lot of intel from the wait staff and others that are disgusted by Bilderberg. Uh, yes, and I'm uh, having daily conversations, telephone conversations with not uh, mole inside. Uh, I, I'm allowed to say that he is uh, on the inside of both trilateral and Bilderberg meetings. Uh, I recognize the voice. I don't know his name. I don't don't want to know his name. That's what we set it up years ago. If they put, put me on a torture rack, I cannot name him because I really do not know, know his name. I know I know his voice, and his uh, uh, information has always been uh, proven uh, proven by history. I mean, history's confirmed uh, everything he's ever told me. So it's. Uh, why do you think this mole for many, I know more than a decade, and then you also get the wait staff and others to, to later help you, that's why you stay a few days after. Why do you think you were originally approached? Well, I think this guy decided that Bilderberg ought to be exposed. Uh, probably agrees also that they're uh, evil people, although he's apparently on the uh, staff of someone who is, uh, attends both meetings. And... Uh, so I don't know how old he is, how young he is, how fat, short, or tall he is, and I don't want to know that either. So that, uh, I that means know upper cream, though, that uh, for those that don't know, if he's in both trilateral and Bilderberg, that's that's steering committee level, uh, uh, level Bilderberg uh, that this person serves. Uh, it could be, but I don't, uh, I don't want the... Uh, no, I understand. What did the mole, did the mole give you anything else uh, that's on the agenda? Because there's always things that are off the agenda that are on the agenda. Uh, did, did the mole tell you anybody that's off the list that's there? Oh, uh, yes, there's uh, several people who were uh, not on the list, as in the Secretary of Defense Gates. Also, uh, Bill Gates, the uh, computer nerd himself, made me there. He's not on the uh, Billiberg list piece there. And these people were 100% identified by sight. We're 100% on this. That. Hillary That's was it. in Europe until about a day ago. She's now in Africa. Any intel on Hillary? Uh, uh, they're moving to get her into the World Bank. Any word on her sinking in for a few hours? Uh, no, we have, have not learned that. It's possible she has. She did what was before. As we just I think we discussed it yesterday when she attended the meeting. In, yes, we did. Uh, uh, in closing, Jim Tucker, any other intel that you can give us, my friend, uh, on what is going on inside Bilderberg? Anything else your mole gave us? The world is listening. No more than I gave you yesterday, I'm sorry to say. the uh, all, Although it's being amplified all day, the uh, arguments of whether to keep the interest rates at the uh, uh, world... Uh, I mean, the uh, IMF up or down to raise them a little bit to save off inflation or to keep them down. They're arguing over uh, that. They're, they're unified on the war project with the rationalization that uh, the world is too crowded anyway. We have to limit the population growth. And one way to do it is with our wars. So uh, they've been amplifying that all day. And also they're outraged at... Uh, American and European patriots are out there uh, uh, protesting outside the gates. And, and there's uh, another big demonstration going on now that, that, as you know, that Mark is attending. Incredible. Jim Tucker, AmericanFreePress.net. We salute you. Thank you so much for spending time with us, my friend. My pleasure. Goodbye now. Unbelievable information unbelievable level of information that you just received you can believe that everything jim has ever said from this mole has been turned out to be totally accurate bragging these are directly from their meetings about how war is good plus kill these people anyways you know, that's their cold-blooded attitude uh about not caring about life they think you deserve to die social darwinism uh, mad at protesters 
uh, IMF World Bank people arguing about raise or lower interest rates, unified on trying to have a larger regional war uh, run by their minion Obama. This is so big. I'm going to play a two and a half minute clip of Luke Radowski yesterday going up and trying to get in to Bilderberg and then running up and in German uh, grabbing uh, his, uh, you know, grabbing his passport and other things. We have that clip, right? Okay, and then we're going to uh, play that, go to break. I'll come back in the next hour. i got to run back with Kurt, give him all this breaking news. And we've got the letter up on our Twitter feed, twitter.com, Real Alex Jones. Uh, we've got that up there uh, of the letter that the Swiss uh, leader has sent to them. He's going to be arriving in the next few hours. We're getting a big report out on that. Bilderberg under siege, Swiss politician to confront Bilderbergers today. This is huge. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and go to this tape, and we'll be right back. Here's Luke Radowski. This is Luke Radowski here in St. Moritz, Switzerland, where the secretive and elusive Bilderberg Group meeting will be taking place directly behind me tomorrow. The U.S., British, and Israeli intelligence protect these elites, and they have teamed up with the Swiss police and military to cordon off this entire area to make sure nobody from the outside gets a glimpse of what's happening inside here. They actually even built a special wall to make sure no photographers document the trees of these individuals who are not only afraid of their shadows, but don't want to be documented coming into this private meeting. To get a taste of the security here, I actually decided to try to have dinner at this hotel, and this is what happened. Hey, guys. How you doing? Speak English? Great. Right. English? We want to have dinner. We can't come in? No. Nope. Where are these guys? Who are you building? Hey, don't, don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hands on me, though. Just because your pimps told you to. What pieces of trash are you driving in, sir? The question has to be asked, if these banksters, corporate heads, media moguls, heads of state, kings and queens, aren't doing anything sinister, why are they protecting this place like Fort Knox, and why are the people here who are trying to find out what's going on being treated like criminals? He's my translator. I don't know what you guys are saying. I'm not going What does he want from me? Your ID card. Why does he want my ID card? I told you, they can get It's all happening. We're on site with the surrounded under siege Bilderberg group. Multiple members of parliament are making their way down there to go confront the police. Letters have been sent to the police. That report is going up right now in the next 15 minutes from Curtin Mo and Infowars.com. You better believe it'll be on Drudge because Drudge is on this, the biggest news website in the world. And we're joined by Lucas Ryman, if I'm pronouncing that right, Swiss member of parliament who is there. Sir, thank you for joining us. Thanks to you for the interest in these events. Yes, sir. This is developing quickly. Uh, again, uh, uh, for our new listeners, please just uh, uh, pronounce so we get it right your full name uh, and exactly why you're there and your concern dealing with uh, Bilderberg. Yes, uh, um, I'm here because I do support democracy. I do support freedom of people. And I do not like what they do in the Hotel Sufretto now. I think uh, we want more transparency. We want be the people have a right to know what they do there, what they decide there, who is there, and so I support these guys there. Incredible. Again, uh, looking you up, you're a prominent member of the parliament, a um, uh, leader in the Swiss People's Party, uh, one of the, uh, I'm, I'm correct in saying that's one of the leading parties in Switzerland, correct, sir? Yes, it's the leading party in Switzerland. Yeah, the leading party. Uh, so uh, this is equivalent of uh, the Speaker of the House or something going to confront him. Exactly what is going to uh, happen today, sir? Are, are, are you one of the people that is going to go, uh, one of the government leaders, to confront uh, the, the Bilderberg group? Yes, we have to confront them with the Bilderberg group. We have to ask them the questions people want to know. And uh, it's important that also politicians uh, uh, try to, to talk about that. Amazing, sir. Uh, again, I'm not as well uh, uh, versed as you are. I, I can't speak Swiss, but uh, you can speak English. Uh, specifically, why are you concerned about Bilderberg? And, and what do you think of uh, Henry Kissinger reportedly being there, the war criminal? Yes, I'm very concerned about the Bilderbergs and about uh, their plans for the world. Because
because I do support freedom, I do support democracy of the people, and I do not want that some few people to decide about all the people. Very well said, sir. And and uh, I'm told you're at a uh, uh, people's building, uh, a public building, a very near Bilderberg right now, correct? Correct. Um, I'm told that uh, there was a, another gentleman as well that wrote a letter. Is is that member of parliament coming as well? Are other members joining you? Yes, two other members of the parliament are joining us tonight. It's uh, Pyramid Wonder. And Dominic Bessig, they are also from the Swiss People Party. Uh, amazing, sir. We've got writers right now working on this. Uh, uh, again, Dominic wrote the original letter, correct? Exactly. Yes. He's, he's our hero. And and then and then and then who is the other member of Parliament, sir? It's Pirmin Schwander. He's the president of the Action for an Independent and Neutral Switzerland. The president of neutral Switzerland. Wow. Uh, you know, uh, sir, I'm not even an expert. I'm sorry, go ahead. Sorry? No, I'm, I'm sorry, go it's ahead, sir. Is, it's a group with 50,000 members from all parties, and they don't want to become a member of the European Union. They do not support IMF, the euro, and all these things. Sir, uh, we've got to go to break, and, and we're going back to the full audience. Can you hold with us just a few more minutes, sir? Of course, yes. Yeah. Lucas Ryman, a uh, prominent member of Swiss Parliament and even more prominent members, I mean, right up at the top of the government, are about to arrive. We're going to come back and ask him, when are they going up to the gates of Bilderberg? This is his broadcast. Uh, we're talking to a member of the Swiss Parliament right now, Lucas Ryman. Other members of the Parliament uh, are soon to arrive. Uh, this is just incredible, and, and we're talking about the different party leaders that are arriving who stand against the globalists, the IMF, the World Bank, takeovers of their sovereignty. Uh, these prominent members are preparing. They've already delivered the letter through Luke Radowski to then attempt to go to the police that work for them. They've written letters to the police saying... Kissinger's a war criminal. He needs to be arrested. They've written letters to the prosecutors. And uh, one of the parliamentary leaders that's about to arrive has said he is going to march up there. Uh, continuing uh, with that, uh, uh, Member of Parliament Ryman, uh, specifically, uh, do, do, do you know when you're going to march up to Bilderberg and uh, what uh, Minister Dominic is planning? I'm very sorry. I couldn't understand you today. We're here already uh, talking. Okay, I understand, sir. Uh, uh, tell us why you guys oppose the Bilderberg Group. Yeah, we oppose the Bilderberg Group because we think uh, in a democracy, people should decide. You know, in Switzerland, people can decide about every decision by a vote. People vote yes or no, and not a few people the, the most uh, rich people, the most important people, they can decide about the people. We think it should come from the people. Uh, we want freedom for the people and not uh, these Bilderbergs. Now, before we went to break, you were talking about opposing the IMF World Bank. Uh, can you explain to people what those systems are doing, what the euro is doing, and uh, why the Swiss are standing against it? Yeah, we did a lot of uh, work in the Parliament against the IMF. You know, Switzerland is not a member of the European Union. It's not a member of the Euro. We also tried to get out Switzerland of the IMF to stop this system uh, that wants to... It's, it's a slavery of the currencies. And we have, we have to stop that. We want freedom also for the currencies. What can you tell us about the plans that we've been told of today um, for uh, the man you called your leader? And, and, and uh, uh, please, again, tell us um, about his position in Swiss government in the parliament, uh, who's coming and, and who wrote the letter and is planning reportedly uh, to go and march up to the gates of Bilderberg and reportedly uh, demand to be let in. Yeah, he tried to, to stop the Bilderberg conference before it began. He, try, he wrote to the to our government. He wrote to the the president here from St. Moritz, and he tried to to stop the conference. He said uh, uh, a non-democratic, uh, intransparent uh, thing like that should not be here in Switzerland. 
And some folks will say, what, free association isn't allowed? These are government ministers. You have laws there against government people meeting with other governments. That's called treason to discuss things outside the purview of the people and make deals. Hillary Clinton has been previously fined for attending Bilderberg under our Logan Act. Uh, what is the specific law, because I know Switzerland has one, sir, uh, against uh, government meetings in secret with private interest? Oh yeah, yes, we we have this law, and I, I think we we uh, our our churches have to take to to use that to use that against the conference. Now we're able to watch you live here, streaming video. Uh, who is that fellow uh, standing next to you, a member of Parliament, Lucas Ryman? Uh, it's Dominic. He's just helping me uh, because my English is not very good, but. What I can say is uh, here are some members of the national parliament in Switzerland, and they do support you. They do support uh, Ron Paul, and they hope it will change a lot in the world in the next year. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I thought I recognized him. Uh, that's the fellow that helped write the original letters to get things going. We interviewed Dominic uh, uh, earlier. Um, are there any other p members of parliament there yet, or, or do you know when they're arriving? Do you know... Uh, when uh, the uh, leader of the pro, you know, Swiss uh, uh, independence, um, uh, Mr. Dominic, do you yes, know when he, he's going to arrive? He, he will arrive at eight o'clock here in St. Moritz. So he's arriving in about thirty minutes. Euro e European time, uh, thirty minutes. Yes. 45 minutes or so. Well, this is huge. Obviously, then, we need to let you guys get ready uh, to go do that. And obviously, are you going to march with him and the other member of parliament up to the gates of the uh, of the Viper's Nest? We, we try our best. I, I can call him and ask if he could arrive a little bit earlier. <laughs> oh, no, that's fine. We're going to be going into the next hour, sir. Uh, so uh, we're going to let you go. Uh, but uh, after you have anything else you'd like to add, and then we'll obviously get your uh, phone number, and then we're going to follow you around okay. uh, so that we can uh, uh, have full coverage of what's happening. Okay. Thank you so much for your work, and good luck for the future. <laughs> Thank you so much. Please give the phone back to Paul Watson. Jaron, talk to Paul. Give him the direction. Thank you. All right. This is unbelievable. This is, this is what real media, real cutting edge, real uh, new network, next generation info war is about. We are watching live video from Switzerland if you're a PrisonPlanet.tv member. The radio listeners are listening to this. This is all happening live time, and I'm the director of this, so I am here on air uh, from Austin, Texas, uh, directing uh, great patriots and, 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 and media people uh, there in their coverage of what's happening and talking to folks uh, along with the rest of the crew uh, helping in this uh, symphony to bring you this information. Great job to the crew. I am absolutely blown away by the coverage today. I, I would imagine you are. This is so exciting. <laughs> you know, I only did this one time on air about two years ago because it's such a big deal to my family and your family and everybody else who loves freedom. Uh, anybody that doesn't want to be a slave. The globalists control the oil. They control the carbon. They've designed a carbon-based system. We are a carbon-based planet. Uh, and part of the carbon cycle is carbon dioxide, water, oxygen, and sunlight. And if they're able to control and tax any one of those, it's over total domination. And so here they are controlling the, 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 you know, the main carbon system. And then they're the same ones that want to restrict it to us through this system. And when it came out with the emails and the premeditated lies and the fact that they know carbon's good and more carbon dioxide's good and that the temperature has actually uh, started dropping overall, they can always show you some micro temperature increases, but I can show you decreases. The point is, I had the guys go get champagne and pop it on air. And I've obviously got a long trip ahead of me and a lot of work to do today, so I'm not going to do that. I'm not a big drinker, but let me tell you, tonight in New York, I'm going to uh, go out to dinner with, uh, tomorrow night, Gerald Salente. But uh, I, with Ted Anderson, you better believe, and I don't even like champagne that much, there's going to be a bottle of expensive champagne being drunk. Because, I, I mean, th this, is, this is awesome. And we are about to see something that is so off the charts, just absolutely fantastic. I am beside myself right now with glee. 
um, the huge dam breaking, uh, just Drudge Report, Newsweek, Time, BBC, London Guardian, hundreds of other papers, Bilderberg, World Government, what are they talking about in there? We've got the moles inside, we've got the intel, we've got live video, and now three prominent, one of them is, is, is like, I was looking him up in the last few weeks, I'd read about him years ago, He's bigger than Ron Paul in Switzerland. I mean, the Ron Paul of Switzerland, very high level in the parliament, right up beneath the prime minister, is marching on Bilderberg today. The prime minister came out. It was in Swiss papers. We did screenshots of those, put them on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Uh, and they are getting, uh, you know, th well, those are now up on the site with the headlines that the prime minister says they don't like the meeting happening there. I mean, it is a rebuke. See, with their trillions, with their fancy suits, with their Mercedes, with their armed guards, with all of this mystique and the helicopters, everybody just bows down to them. Why? They're crooks. It's like Bank of America thinking they can take houses without even having uh, any type of uh, deed or somebody buys the house in cash. They have no history, no claim. They come and take it. The court says, well, it's five months later. We said give them their house back. You haven't. So we're going to send deputies to seize your bank and take the cash out and pay them on the barrel head. That's the people's court. That's America. That's Switzerland. That's what the Dutch had. That's real freedom. Nobody else ever had what the Swiss have had. Nobody ever had what people in America had. Nobody ever had what the Dutch had. And they're taking it away. It's a lie that our system came from the Greeks and the Romans. There's a little bit of that in there. It's Swiss. And people better get that through their head. They want it. The Swiss are all given automatic weapons and hand grenades. And, 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 and then they have yearly searches in the house to make sure the guns are hidden. To make sure if a foreign government comes in, your guns are so hidden, our own gun finders can't find them. I mean, that's what it's all about. People are like, well, what? The, one of the freest groups, the richest group, lowest crime rate in the world, automatic weapons, hand grenades, grenade launchers. The crime rate is, 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 is non-existent. The, and, and I'm telling you, that's why it's happening there. The people are marching on that thing, and the big demonstration is tomorrow. The big demonstration is tomorrow, high noon. There's other demonstrations going. If you're in Europe, I mean, if you're in... Uh, places like Germany, France, uh, Italy, uh, of course, uh, Austria. You're two hours away from St. Moritz if you live near the border. I don't care if you're 10 hours away. Get there. Eastern Europe. These are the globalists that have already sucked you dry over and over again. These are the robber barons. These are the crooks. These are the austerity masters. These are the people. These are the globalists. These are the control freaks. These are the individuals that are the enemies of free humanity. So... Burn rubber, get there, get on a train, get there, confront them. The police have been told by multiple members of parliament who are now arriving on site, one of them already there. They are telling him, listen, police. They've sent letters to the police, letters to the prosecutors. You leave the people alone, you let them cover this. And we're going, and you arrest Henry Kissinger, there's an EU arrest warrant out for him. You get in there and you get him. You get in there and you get him. And now they're about to march up there. And I gotta go get on a plane in two hours. I don't. I, I got Aaron and them coming up. I'm gonna cut it close. I'm gonna be into the third hour today, riding a shotgun with them. This is off the charts. I, I, I'll take a later flight tonight. I have got to be here while this happens. This is so exciting. This is history happening. This is the new world order being identified. Identified. Okay, Dominique Bettig, who's one of the senior members of the parliament in Switzerland is uh, preparing, about to arrive in the next 30 minutes and then to march on Bilderberg uh, shortly after that, after they organize. Uh, our crew, uh, Aaron Dykes, Paul Watson are with them. Um, this is imminent uh, happening. Uh, letters have been delivered to the police telling them to stand down. Uh, this is absolutely incredible. We Are Change delivered the letter. They are in the parliamentary letter, mentions We Are Change. Uh, Switzerland. Th th this is off the charts. Joining us is London Guardian reporter Charlie Skelton, who's been arrested in years past, just trying to cover Bilderberg. Uh, and he joins us, a great reportage we've been reading at The Guardian, also linked up at DrudgeReport.com. Uh, Charlie, good to have you here with us. It's very good to, to be here. What do you make of this historic thing that's happening right now? Are, are you in the middle of it right now? Uh, I'm not. I, there's a lot of historic things going on at the moment, it seems. Uh, that, that's just one of them, and there's actually three. I think uh, I'm told there's three Swiss MPs that are going that are currently there. So that's quite a that, that's quite a number of uh, of serious people that are that are concerned about what's going on in their country. 
Well, break down from your reportage what you think the most important points are. Oh my goodness, well, the most important thing that's just happened here is that uh, uh, the Chancellor of the Exchequer of Brit Great Britain, uh, George Osborne, has just been confirmed as attending, not as a private individual, but as the Chancellor of the Exchequer, in an official capacity. So, um, and he's there with Treasury staff, and I presume that the British taxpayer is paying for that. And um, so this raises an enormous number of questions, because the Treasury told me that uh, he's here and he's meeting with uh, other international foreign ministers. So you've got a situation where the Chancellor of the Exchequer is meeting in an official capacity, discussing presumably then policy with uh, you know other with heads of state, other finance ministers, with the head of Airbus, with the you know head of Deutsche Bank, with the Russian oligarch. I mean, you know it, what's going on? And it's, it's a it's a four day very in depth conference. And and why exactly is that being that summit? Take, I think we can call it a summit taking place behind closed closed doors. It's an absolute disgrace. Well, Charlie, uh, what do you make of them putting up this giant shower curtain? I thought that was a good piece you wrote, excellent piece, describing how guilty they act. Well, I just find it, do you know what? I genuinely find it embarrassing. I find it childish. I mean, you've, I, I you've probably seen them before. Yeah, I know I've seen them. You see delegates arriving, and they throw themselves down in the back seat of the car, and they hold the newspaper up to their face. And, it's, and, you, and, and you know, they, they duck down, roll around, and you think, I'm thinking, what are you doing? You're not, you're not behaving like a grown-up. These are royalty, Fortune 500, elected politicians, many of them breaking the law to be there. That's why they're covering their faces up, because for decades, the media wouldn't admit this was real. Charlie, what do you think now, knowing, because it's been in the news, that BBC, Washington Post, were attending this decades ago and lying to their viewers and readers and telling them it didn't exist? Well, you know what, it's, it's an extraordinary thing, and you can feel, and I've, I've been doing this for three years, so I'm, I'm still a, a youngster in Bilderberg terms, but I, even in that short time, you can feel the pressure that's being put on the mainstream media from the, uh, let's call them the alternative media, uh, uh, although there are some mainstream media here, but, but from the pressure that's coming upwards and forcing upwards from the ground this story and saying, look, it's important, look, there are important people here, look at them, look, here's a photograph I've got through a car window, this is important. mainstream media please pay attention we you know and and, and the force of it that is that there's so much determination you can see amongst the amongst the citizen journalists particularly the determination to make this story real by having it break it upwards into the mainstream media and i think it's happening it's just it's going to take some time it may not be this year but it's getting there it's getting there and you know when when the chancellor of the exchequer george osborne does something so stupid to attend this meeting in an official capacity rather than as a private individual you know surely i'm just waiting on this it's just broken now surely the british media at the very least are going to pick up on this and if they don't then it's absolutely disgraceful i can't i'm just disgusted at the thought they went i tell you what i did a thing that well not maybe he'll put a d notice out maybe you'll get the government d notice that you can't report go ahead yeah no i mean good, good, yeah well good luck with that i mean i don't know we've got the freedom of information requests now and hopefully uh, you know british citizens are going to be putting them in and finding out you know what exactly were you talking about you have to tell us now by law you know, you're not, you're not George Osborne. You're George Osborne MP, Chancellor of the Exchequer. It's a big, very, very significant difference that's just taken place. And, you know, I did, I did one of those things that... that Stay there, Charlie. Uh, Skelton, the London Guardian, the biggest paper in Europe, arguably, not just in England. Can you stay with us a little bit into the next segment? Sure, sure. All right, Charlie Skelton, great guy. He's the guy, by the way, that originally got the list and gave it to us, and we've got it out right now linked on Drudge. We really want to thank Charlie. He's a real go-getter. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Gentlemen, I got butterflies like I'm 11 years old about to ask a girl to, you know, go to the movies for the first time. And yes, when I was 11, I was already saying, you know, trying to talk to girls' parents at public school and get them to let, you know, come pick me up or my parents come pick them up and take them to a movie. I got butterflies like that. All the other 11-year-olds were saying they still hated girls, not me. I liked them the minute I saw them. Uh, but but side issue, the point is, I've got major butterflies. Five more minutes with Charlie Skelton. We got Bob Chapman waiting in the wings with economic breakdown. So many big things happening, but we're in the next 30 minutes to an hour. They're about to arrive. We just had a member of parliament on. We're going to work on getting the main member, uh, who is the equivalent of Ron Paul, uh, over there, Dominique Bettig, uh, who is going to march on Bilderberg. He sent letters to the, to the uh, Bilderberg group. 
uh, a police that are guarding him, that he's their boss and what they're doing is illegal and he wants Kissinger arrested. There's a arrest warrant out for him. Uh, and they're openly saying, you want world government, we don't want it, you're not going to destroy Switzerland. This is how a country behaves. <laughs> this is what it's all about. These people are scum. They're, they're usurpers. They're taking us over. Wake up! Wake up! We can sweep them aside. Now, now two issues here. It just broke. It's up on Infowars.com. In fact, it, it may just be on the internal network now. It may, it, it, it may not be live yet. No, it's live. It's live. We're going to put it on screen for everybody. Bombshell. Swiss parliamentarians to force way into Bilderberg. Bombshell. Swiss parliamentarians to force way into Bilderberg. You heard it from a prominent member of parliament 30 minutes ago, 25 minutes ago. Uh, the letter's been sent. This is too. In, this is too awesome. This is too awesome. I cannot tell you how big this is. We also are launching a email magazine slash special videos only uh, for folks that sign up because we can't just trust YouTube and Google and and, and Twitter. We got to have our own Twitter system. We're going to the old basic email that's low tech with a high tech overlay. There's a special exclusive video only on our servers. There's a special exclusive article by Kurt Nemo and a bunch of other exclusive photos at the InfoWars is Insider, Volume 1, Issue 1, uh, right now, top right-hand corner of InfoWars.com. Just put in your email, and bam, sign up, and it goes out at 2 o'clock today, uh, an hour and 25 minutes from now, the maiden voyage of that InfoWars Insider. Special reports, hottest news, inside scoop, exclusive videos. Uh, incredible inside uh, report with the latest info, and uh, it's it's going out to Infowars insiders in T minus one hour, twenty five minutes. So sign up now. But there it is on screen. Finishing up with Charlie Skelton, and then to the incredible. I just got chills again. I mean, everything's starting to happen. China says the U.S. has already defaulted on the debt. Of course, I told you that, but it, it's now a fake. Oh, my. I mean, this is huge. I can't even believe this is happening. This is, it's all coming down. Charlie Skelton, do you not have the same feeling that everything, the wars, the implosions, the depressions, the corruption, the, the scandals are just everything is racing now like they did in other times in history before World War I, World War II? Can you not feel the electricity in the air, Charlie Skelton? Yeah, it's, you know, it's difficult because we're only here, here now so to, to take a perspective like that. But, you know, certainly there's stuff happening. I mean, when you say something like the, the, the story about the, the Chinese de um, the default, uh, it's very interesting to note that there's two um, Chinese delegates at Bilderberg this year, which I, I believe is fairly unusual. And, uh, I believe that's the first time. I think there's been a Chinese businessman there before. Yeah, no, this is big. Yeah. This is big powwow. And, you know, they've got a Chinese uh, professor of uh, economics from Peking University. And, you know, and that's why. It's, it, you, would, it, you just wouldn't expect that, really, from Bilderberg. But you, you, you know, maybe, you know, maybe there's a maybe there's a crisis going on, not just for for us, for you and me. Maybe there's a bigger crisis going on. I don't know. Uh, that would be nice. Any other key points? What what's coming up next in your incredible uh, reportage? Give us uh, uh, any of your websites or, or, or places where we can find out more about the great job you do. We'll just go to the Guardian website, guardian.co.uk, and have a, have a look at the news. Uh, and, you know, so we'll in fact search Bilderberg, because there's not much out there, to be quite honest. Um, so it should pop up fairly easily. Um, but, uh, you know, we're about to head up the hill and see what exactly is going to happen. And you're absolutely right, that would be extraordinary, absolutely extraordinary, if three MPs marched up to the police court. And I mean, I just don't know what they're going to do. No, they, they, they've told me they're doing it, and uh, they've also told yep. uh, the gentleman that was with the other Swiss minister that they are doing it. And the big cheese uh, is uh, set to arrive uh, here in just the next uh, 20, 30 minutes or so. They may get organized, but they're right yeah. up at that public building, uh, right up the street. Because uh, the Swiss get together. They don't just watch TV all day. They actually you know, hang out at local community areas and you know, drink beer and play games. Evil type folks. They all have guns. Yeah, I mean, what are they going to do? Are they going to push a gun into the chest of a, of, a, of a Swiss MP? I mean, are they going to do that? Who is going to do that? I mean, what's interesting, someone told me uh, here, a guy called Manfred, who's an amazing guy you should have on the show. He knows more than I do by a factor of 100. Um, he, uh, he said that they, he worked out that they, they brought in a lot of East German security uh, to cover it because he's Swiss and he recognized the accent and he, he recognized the... Uh, yeah, no, that's the thing. company. It is East German. Again, a throwback yeah. to the Stasi. That's who they've got to get. But isn't that always the way? You, if, you, if you're trying to police your own country, you, can't, you have to do it with outsiders because they don't care. So, um, yeah, so, but, you know, it, you know, I mean, this literally is breaking now. I mean, so we're, on, we're really on the edge of something historic in Bilderberg terms. I mean, what is going to happen? You know, stay tuned. I'm, about, I'm literally about to jump in the car and 
drive up the hill. All right, we're going to let you get over there, and we'll see the reportage at the Guardian. Our big bombshell has just gone out. Charlie Skelton, look forward to having you in the aftermath on next week. We're going to put you on hold. Give us the name and number of the gentleman you just said knows 100 times more than you. We'd love to get him on, because if you say he's good, we believe you. And uh, Mr. Skelton, thank you. I'm told you were one of the first to get the list. and lovingly handed it off to us to break it and so we really appreciate the great work you're doing and we look forward to talking to you again cool well, thank you and we'll thank the swiss website that broke it and who knows where they got it from a a absolutely thank you so much uh, yeah, Tucker's mole, but we're not supposed to <laughs> whatever okay thank you so much uh trying to fence this through skeleton to throw them off, but whatever, they already know they're listening to everything. I uh, <laughs> wonder if my wife will get any death threats this week. Every time I cover Bilderberg, uh, when it's going on, the, the, the mean phone calls come in where they tell her, we were just listening to what you said, so you know who we are. We were listening to your phone line. Now do you take me serious? I'm going to cut your head off. These are nice people, folks. They're such nice old Okay, guys. we have Member of Parliament, Lucas Ryman. They're waiting for Dominique Bedding, who's the Ron Paul of Switzerland, to arrive with another Member of Parliament. Uh, Betting has said, and we've talked to folks that have talked to him, that he was going to march on that. And uh, when we talked to Lucas Ryman, he's aware of that. They're going to go look for him now. He's supposed to be there, but they have to drive through the mountains to get there. The word is the police in the past have shut down highways and trains. We don't know if he's going to be able to. Uh, I mean, they're desperate to stop what's about to happen. Doesn't matter. The big protest is tomorrow, Saturday, high noon. So it's just, it's just ongoing. It goes through Sunday. It's on. Uh, but but Paul Watson, the police chief of the local state, we're now or the town came and visited with you guys there, uh, and, and you've got breaking news of what the police chief told you. Yeah, that's correct, Alex. We were speaking again to Dominic of We Are Change Switzerland, and he said that the chief of police over the whole Bilderberg security operation uh, actually visited this event that we're at now. It's shortly up the hill from the Bilderberg Hotel. It's a speaking event with music and uh, interviews. And the chief of police visited, he's now left, but he said he stands with us. Uh, he supports our message against the Bilderberg Group, and he was sending that message that he supports us against the Bilderberg Group. All right, we're going to talk to him in just a moment, then he's leaving to go find uh, Dominique Betting. But whatever you do, stay with the members of Parliament. At least, I'm told, of the three, two are going to go up. We need to get that on tape and document this and see what happens uh but uh, get out there don't uh, miss this so go ahead and uh, a good job hand the phone uh over uh to uh lucas uh ryman uh who is of course a member of uh the swiss parliament uh, opposing the new world order and he's the part of the biggest party uh, the, the majority party that rules uh, for the people of switzerland uh mr ryman thank you for joining us Hello? Uh, uh, yes, Mr. Ryman, good to talk to you. I know you're about to go. Do we know when Dominique Betting, Member of Parliament, is going to arrive and when he's going up to the front gate? I have no idea. They, they told me he's in the train between Zurich and here, and he should be here in one, one and a half hour, but I'm not sure about that. Now, sir, we saw a lot of years during Davos, they will shut trains down to uh, completely to block protesters getting there. Uh, would it be unprecedented for them to try to block uh, the member of parliament getting there? I've heard that yesterday night a member of the European Parliament from Italy tried to get into the Bilderberg conference to get to the Supreta Hotel, and they pushed him down, his uh, nose was bleeding, and, uh, what? Wait, 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 wait. EU Parliament, that, I mean, that's the ministers from the countries that are part of the EU. Uh, what, is that in the Swiss papers? that? Because uh, I know that prominent Italian, I forget his name, has spoken out against Bilderberg. He's an older gentleman. We'll look up his name. Guys, if you search uh, right now, um, uh, Italian a member of EU Parliament speaks out against Bilderberg. It'll pull him up. Do you have his name, sir? You just learned this? I, I don't know his name. I don't have internet here, but uh, in the Swiss online newspapers, his name is written now. Uh, he's from the party League of North in Italy. Party League of the North? Mar you know what? We'll go to Dominique in a moment if he can answer the questions for us. Uh, Jaron, I couldn't hear through the window if you want to come tell that, me. That will be great, yes. Well, well sirs. Uh, Mario Bergosi?
Yeah, it's Mario. Mario Vargosi. Yes, Mario Vargosi. Uh, tell us. They, yeah. uh, so Swiss.info is reporting that Mario Vargosi, member of the EU Parliament, was shoved into the ground and his nose bloodied. It's on. That's what's the great part about InfoWars. Once they get physical, then everybody starts really getting how serious it is. Tell us what the Swiss News is reporting. <laughs> member of EU uh, Parliament yes, assaulted uh, by Bilderberg uh, thugs. Uh, uh, all the Swiss news are writing that uh, the, these uh, p parliamentarians from the European Parliament tried to get uh, into the Hotel Sofreta to join the Bilderberg meeting, and then the policeman pushed him down, the nose was bleeding, and <laughs> it's unbelievable. Sensational! That's, that's going to really blow up the Bilderberg group's face. The, uh, the Tree of Liberty, you know, it waters it. You've, oh my gosh, you're saying this is all over the Swiss news. We'll get it translated. This is showing how we didn't even know this happened last night. And we're just now learning this is off the charts, hardcore. We, you think it's big, the Swiss parliament's about to march on them. That, uh, so you're saying members. Do we know how many members of the EU parliament went and had the, the uh, was it the security people or Swiss police that assaulted them? We don't know yet. We try to get more information about that, but uh, we also said we, we should try to also Swiss Parliament turns to get in. We've also got a bunch of reporters that have told us off air, multiple reporters, that there uh, some of the Bilderbergs appear to be evacuating, especially them. They may be evacuating the women because of the march on Bilderberg tomorrow, and that and that there's quite a few helicopters, and that, that the Bilderbergs may be fleeing. Sir, uh, do you know anything? Oh, there it is, Switzerland, beaten by guards and arrested. Holy mackerel! It's big mainstream news! Get Kurt in here now! We gotta get this added! Member of EU <laughs> Parliament assaulted! Holy mackerel! <laughs> I mean, this is gonna be huge! You know what? This is gonna backfire on him, is it not? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I am beside myself right now, sir. We're going to take my car to the airport. We're taking mine. Uh, uh, okay, sir, anything else you can tell us? What a bombshell you just dropped on us. Uh, par the, the EU parliament marched and was bloodied by their masters. Anything else, member of parliament from Switzerland? I didn't understand that now. So well, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Ryman. This is our this is our football. We're pretty excited about this. Yeah. Uh, uh, this, this is really going to hurt the Bilderberg Group. It, it's on, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Reimer, uh, uh You guys get out there, have your march. Let's see if they will dare bloody your nose. It's obvious in solidarity. You need to go question the police and find out. Are are, are you getting ready to do that? We'd like I, to. I will, I'm, I will do that, and you pay me the hospital. I, well, you know what I. Um, well, what if they break your neck? Then I, you know what? You know what? I mean, yeah, if it's just a broken nose, I'll pay for it, sure. Okay? Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Listen, listen. <laughs> this is history, my friend. I wish I was there with you. I'd I'd give my pinky, right, man, my arm almost. Uh, no, okay. I mean, I know the other guys are about to march. We got to get you in there. So, I mean, I know okay, the other member... Uh, when, when, when my two other friends from my party, the, the other members from the Swiss Parliament will arrive here. I will talk to them, and then we will try to do that. But I'm not sure if uh, if that will be good. <laughs> well, you, well, no, don't let this intimidation work. Dominique Betting, your leader, has already said he's going to yeah. do it on record. So you're going. Okay. You're committed. You're a man. You're a red-blooded liberty lover. You haven't done anything wrong. That's you're going to go. That's true. Look, look, I'll guarantee you the EU members tried to force their way in. Just don't force your way in. You're right. You're right. I will follow Dominique Betting. We do that together. The gauntlet is down now. It's on. All right, you're going to join Dominique Betting. It's on. Even if they block him uh, at the train station, you've got to go in, sir. We salute you. We thank you. Will you please hand the phone back to Paul Joseph Watson? Okay, thanks to you. And when you say that, we do that. We listen to you. All right, you are just unbelievable. You are incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, yeah! Let me give you a war growl out there, and I'll just send some love to you in Switzerland. Ah! Thank you, sir. Please give the phone to Paul Watson. Okay, goodbye. Ah, I am ready. Man, I wish I was there. Oh, this is history. They're...
Paul, I'm, I, look, I'm throwing the baton to you. We're going to break in three minutes. You stay on them. You heard them. Uh, Dominique Betting, who's held up in the train, he's going. He's already on record. The other guys, the gauntlets down, they're going. Not, I, I said, are you going to let him break in the nose? Going to intimidate you? We've, we've now confirmed Watson. I don't care how much background noise. You've got the floor. Go into overdrive if it's needed. I'm skybound. Everybody pray for the people there. Big protest high noon tomorrow. Paul, we love you. You've got the baton. Paul Watson, Aaron Dykes, Infowars.com. we got to go up in our article that's on drugs. They've already assaulted members of parliament. We're breaking the Berlin Wall of Info. We're getting it out to everybody. God bless you all. Stay with us. Paul Watson. Ah! Good to be on the air, Alex. Yeah, we basically got eyewitnesses to all of this, and we'll try and get them on the air as and when possible, um, but it's pretty hectic, as you can tell. Yeah, the, the EU member of Portland attempted to enter the Bilderberg Hotel, um, and according to eyewitnesses, he was shoved to the ground and blooded his nose. Uh, one even said that they broke his nose, and his name was Mario Orgazio, and that is already in, uh, I, I believe, The Guardian. I think it's um, Charlie Skelton, but it might be somebody else uh, in The Guardian that's reported that. Um, also, just literally two minutes ago, we were talking to Alex uh, from Info Creek, and he was saying that um, there was a standoff down at the hotel where some protesters tried to... Um, go down because there's an area above the police tape which is on a hill which is where me and Aaron were filming from earlier with the helicopter footage we've actually got a Bilderberg member entering and leaving that helicopter on video and Alex said that um, there was a standoff between demonstrators and the police there and that it, it started to get quite ugly and uh, I think we're going to get Alex from Info Krieg on the air right now to explain that because he was an eyewitness to it and uh, he can explain it in more detail. So um, we saw this. Uh, we saw this um, uh, little group trying to walk towards the hotel. It's, it's they walked from top down the grassy hill. The police confirmed to us it's it's private. We're not supposed to be there. We're not allowed, we're not allowed to be there. And two of these guys, they wore bright yellow vests. So they made a point to be seen. They were not sneaking in. They were walking right up there. And there's one security checkpoint with uh, uh, police and a police dog, and uh, you saw them gathering their troops and kind of not not really knowing what to do. Uh, and they brought the dogs, and so it, it's uh, uh, one of my guys is shooting all of this. I got uh, most of it on on tape, and I I can't I can't I don't want to go into more details because um, this there could be something big happening. Uh, I don't want to give anything away and you know warn anybody, but.